Subaru is an odd company in many ways. One such way is its ratio of sedan to wagon sales, which is pretty much the inverse of every other manufacturer except, perhaps, Volvo. Take the Impreza, which sells at a rate of 30% sedans to 70% wagons, or five doors to use the preferred industry terminology. Honda, for instance, expects the new Civic hatchback to make up only about 15% of overall Civic sales. It's safe to say that Subaru buyers like a good hatch, and, thus, the five-door got plenty of love from the engineers as part of the Impreza's overhaul for 2017. With a hatchback it's all about the hole, and Subaru widened the Impreza's. The outgoing hatchback had large singular tail light clusters that, although big and bright, pinched the opening due to their size. So Subaru has split the taillights, putting part of the lens on the lift gate, as so many crossover designers have done before Subaru, thereby adding 4 inches of width to the narrowest portion of that fifth aperture. The result may look slightly generic, but it makes for easier access to the back. Also, the new Subaru global platform on which the Impreza is based sees its rear shock towers moved farther apart by about an inch, which opens up the cargo hold. Subaru claims an additional 3 cubic feet of maximum cargo space in this year's 5-door, the company's official name for the hatchback or enough to pack an 827 ears of Indiana corn with the rear seats up or 2,472 ears with the seats down. They actually made glued-up corn sculptures in the shape of the wagon's cargo area to prove it. Because Subaru. And because the Impreza is now made in Indiana. Tempting as it is, we'll leave the cornhole jokes to lesser media outlets and just say that the Impreza 5-door has all of the goodness that Subaru baked into its clean-sheet new platform, as we learned during our first drive of the 2017 Impreza sedan. That includes better crash performance and a stiffer structure for improved dynamics, partially accomplished by 23 feet of adhesive bonding plus the wider use of high-tensile hot-press steel. As in the sedan, a revised version of the FB20 direct injected 2.0 liter flat 4 is the only engine yet available in the Impreza 5 door, the 152 horsepower and 145 pounds to foot ratings are adequate and delivered smoothly for a boxer though without any neck bending excitement. A continuously variable automatic transmission or a 5-speed stick is available in all trim levels except for the loaded limited, which is CVT only. Manual models won't be available initially, and 5 cogs is still one short of modern norms, but Subaru, unlike Honda, gets kudos for not punishing manual buyers by forcing them to drive a stripper. Yeah.